Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Wednesday, so let's watch your record on Wednesday. Mess in the background. Two loads of laundry. They're clean and dry, but they're not hung up or folded yet. But that's okay. I should have shut that door, but whatever. Sleeping baby. Five year old in there. <laughs> so I'm sitting here and I am working on a new whip um, this Wednesday. What is today? Today is April 6th. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's Wednesday. I already said that like five times. So I am working on a new whip. But it's a pattern that I'm designing, so I'm not going to tell you what it is. <laughs> but I'll show you so far what it is. That's it so far. <laughs> this is a gray red heart, but I don't have the ball band. Um, I think it's like heather gray because it looks heathered <laughs> and it's gray. But that's just a guess. And I'm using a G-hook. This is a Clover Moore G-hook, which is a 4 millimeter. But I'm working on that. I started it last night and I'm working on it today too don't know when it'll be done and out because um laugh <laughs> but um yeah so i'm also working on cutting some fabric this is all leftover pieces from bags that i've made recently you might recognize some of them as prints that was for sale recently filming those these are all just the scrap leftover bits so they're kind of weird shaped but i'm going to be making zipper project bags out of these so they're going to be all different shapes and sizes um and I also need to make, there's someone who's having a birthday soon that I'm making a bag for. And there's someone who uh, mentioned something that they needed in their video, in one of their videos the other day that I have a surplus of. So I'm going to send them some, but I'm going to make a little bag to put them in <laughs> so that they ship better in my poly mailers because I don't have any of the bubble ones and all my boxes are too big. So um, I'm going to make a little bag, a little drawstring bag to put the items in to send to them. Uh, so yeah, that's my plan for this next week, hopefully, <laughs> of sewing. Um, and I'm working on that project, like I said, it's hopefully come out sooner rather than later. If that pattern turns out the way I envision it, I'm going to be making other ones that's similar to that. But again, it'll take a while because of life. <laughs> but that's what I'm working on today. I really need to be working on that collar for the shrug, but I have not. <laughs> I'll get it done eventually. I also need to do that laundry. But it can just sit there until Devin wakes up. I also had to package my bags. A lot of the bags sold. They're, they're sitting over here on my printer. They're just piled up. <laughs> um, I got to do the last one over where I look for like random strings. And then start packaging them up. And then, uh, yeah, I got to do all that stuff. <laughs> so I'm going to be busy today and tomorrow. But, yeah. So that's what I'm working on this Wednesday. <laughs> Let me know down below what you guys are working on. And feel free to share any links or anything like that. Or people's names or whatever. And yeah, so also I need to figure out what to make for dinner. I should probably do that quickly because I need to thaw out some meat probably. <laughs> It'll probably be ground beef because it thaws out super quick. Um, so I'll figure that out. I'll probably make something easy like tacos. But uh, yeah, what else? There's something else I was going to mention. Oh yeah, there are still a few bags. I think three drawstring bags and one tote bag left in the shop. Or something like that. <laughs> if you want to check them out, uh, it's always linked in the description. And there's something else I was going to mention. I guess it's not important because <laughs> I can't remember right now. But uh, oh, she's waking up a little bit. But uh, this is about the only way I can do, do anything during the day is to strap her to me because she just fusses if she doesn't have pressure on her. But um, yeah, so she's been sleeping for a while. Oh, tomorrow we're going to a new grocery store. <laughs> a new grocery store opened. They just built it and it opened into the city next to us. It's called Food City, which I've been to before, but we've not had them before. Um, it's kind of like a Kroger uh and we're gonna go to it it just opened today but we're gonna go tomorrow because devin's off work tomorrow and because they're having really good sales on ground beef and on mayonnaise which we eat a lot of and uh sodas 12 packs and um pasta sauce <laughs> just some things like that with the card so we're gonna get the card and do that and they also sent out coupons in the mail and one of them is five dollars off of 50 or more so we're gonna use that <laughs> But basically, we're going to check out the new grocery store because we're adults and that's what we do now, apparently. I, I told Devin yesterday, I was like, it's so funny that I'm excited about going to a new grocery store. But um, I guess that's just how it is now. <laughs> I'm almost 32 and I'm a mom and a wife, so I, I'm excited about a new grocery store. <laughs> but um, they have a gas station too with reward points like Kroger. And uh, I don't know if they sell a lot of household things. I'm sure they do. There is a bug on my shirt. I, I got a a summary like overshirt hanging up and there's it looks like a spiders on it i gotta pick that off <laughs> but um anyways yeah so i'm excited about going to the new food city and getting um 
Hopefully some deals. I hope they sell formula there. I don't know. We'll check it out and see how we like it. I told Devin if we like it a lot, we'll just start shopping there. Because we, right now we should do most of our shopping at Walmart. And it's just annoying. Because in our town, our town is small. Um, so Walmart's always packed. And everything's always gone. <laughs> so, yeah. It'd be nice to have a new store to go to. So, we'll see. But I'm excited about it. <laughs> which is so funny. But I'm going to sit here and cut some of this fabric while she's sleeping. And I got my paper here to write out the sizes. So that I know how big to cut the batting. Which is right there. And then the liners. Because they're all going to be different. Normally when I make bags, they're all the same size. But these ones are going to be all different because the fabric pieces. See, like this one's a smaller. This is going to be like a notion pouch size. And this one's going to be like a longer notion pouch. I'm just trying to use up this scrappy fabric. So these bags will be in the next shop update. And they're going to be all random sizes. And um, I'm not sure about the prices. They'll all be different because of the size difference. And <laughs> all that. But anyways, I'm going to hop off here and get this edited and up for you guys. And I will see you in another video. Because I'm just blabbing as per usual. <laughs> but I'll see you guys um, tomorrow. I believe I will be doing the March roundup. Um, if I have time tomorrow's Thursday. Yeah, Devin's a freak. I should be able to do it tomorrow. And then I'll see you whenever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Bye guys.